What's up, y'all? Cammy Krebs back again. Back again. This time we got Charleston White on fans saying Dirk is looking for him. Look, Dirk is not a bad mother uffer, right? Why is Dirk looking for him? Charleston White. I don't know. But why say Dirk ain't? Like, when people say Dirk looking for you, Dirk ain't going to do nothing to you. Right. He's the other dudes around. Right. Okay. Y'all said so. But All why right. would Dirk do that? He got too much money That's to be worried saying. about some Charleston, Charleston White. White. What, what is this about? He should be worried about nobody. He should just continue to get his money. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But how old is You Dirk? also went viral on multiple videos. Well, it's really one video, but like five different people picked it up and it, it's all over YouTube and it hit Twitter and Instagram. And it was kind of like, uh, if, if Lil Dirk is looking for you, if Lil Dirk trying to catch you lacking, it's like you have something to say to Dirk. Well, uh, well, well, I ain't had nothing to say to Dirk. It, I be responding to people in the comments. Lil Dirk looking for you. Nigga, if Lil Dirk looking for me, I ain't hard to find. I'm responding to people in the comments. Uh, I already know okay. Lil Dirk ain't looking for me. But what I'm doing is I kill the image, homie of what our people think these niggas is. Lil Dirk ain't no bad motherfucker. No, man, bad motherfuckers don't have fat white baby mamas. No. What? Why? How he go? That makes no sense at all. <laughs> that makes no sense. Oh, bad mother brothers ain't got no fat white baby mama. Wow. Are you what they got at home then? Oh. Oh my. All right, let's hit it right. Let's see where he's going with He might be kind of cracking his joke. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. That nigga got a fat ass white baby mama. No, big bad motherfucker got fine black girls. Yeah, nigga with short hair, fat ass neck, and fight and run fast. Yeah, no, 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 no. Man, that nigga ain't no bad motherfucker. But our people think these niggas. It's like superheroes. And I'm saying if he a bad motherfucker, Lil Tim would be dead. If he a bad motherfucker, his brother wouldn't have got killed. Man, listen. Bad motherfuckers don't walk in groups. Bad motherfuckers don't walk in groups. You won't never see a bunch of people around a bad motherfucker. I hope you're going to give some examples of who he's talking about. Yeah, but I agree, Dirk ain't that tight. But the catch that around him was, or is. Fucker. Bad motherfuckers is bad all by their goddamn self. That's why I reference myself as being Michael Jackson bad. Mike got away from the group, the brothers, and became bad all by his motherfucking self. I ain't tough. I'm Michael Jackson bad. I can come over here and perform and do this without a group. All by my motherfucking self and captivate the crowd as if I was doing it with my brothers. That's real. You, you see, so now, nah, homie, so it's not that I'm talking to dirt. I'm talking to the people who worship him, the idol worshipers. People believe that if you say something against GD and BD, somebody go come out of Chicago and appear and kill you. These people think this. They think NBA young boy got the power to do whatever, but he's secretly crying out. Oh, I can't take it no more. In certain, he's crying out in certain ways. But these people who worship these people think they're godlike. And I'm and so when they come to me with it, man, fuck that motherfucker, that rapping ass nigga. I never say their real name because the person, the thing that they worship is the rapper. They don't admire the individual who became the rapper, they worship the rapper. They don't even know the process the individual went through to become the rapper. They just know he a rapper. And they begin to worship. But why he feel like he got to be the one to... He said he tried to kill the image or the character that they portraying. Right. Why everyone that do call this out call them out or yeah yeah i'm saying like i don't know 
I don't know what what his goal is. Like I know it's to make money for sure. He's just trying to make money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these people, these fans do be crazy. Oh, uh, well, these artists, they do swear they can't do no wrong. Of know. course. They'll argue down that mm-hmm. and be a young boy can fly. And if you don't think so, you hate him. Mm. Right? All types of stuff in the comments when it comes yeah, to these crazy artists. stuff. We yeah. do. That's true. I need to relax. That's true. These idols. And so here I am. I'm, I'm just so happy to say, nigga, fuck your idol. Nigga, fuck Michael Jordan. Yeah, n- yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, uh, what's y'all? Well, you well, you don't care nothing about the kids. Nigga, fuck them kids. Oh, I knew he was tripping. Man, I'm throwing back what they throw at me. And what I'm starting to see is black people can't handle what they ditch out. I came to the internet in some of your first interviews, homie, being the most positive male speaking to our people. You a snitch? Ah, look at your high. Look at this. So I gave them back what they gave to me. I even came on your platform and said, y'all, listen. Uh, man, I'm in character. I saw the movie Dolomite. Uh, man, sound like don't fall for the conversation in the mat. I even explained this in detail, passionate as I could. I'm throwing back what they throwing at me. I'm holding up the mirror. We are assassinating. A, a, a young rapper can't even come up, homie. First thing they're going to say, ah, look how little his chain is. Baby Youngin had to come out and say, nah, man, this is my startup chain. Why do he have to do that, homie? Baby. Because he's being attacked for just wanting to be regular. Mm. If you have on a Louis Vuitton hat, that ain't real Louis Vuitton. They're going to start attacking. Once you make it to where they can see you, here come the assassination. Here come the crucifixions. It's the, they come to tear you down. They not come to cheer you on. Half the people that's looking, watching, and listening, they cheering for the destruction. They not clapping for peace. They cheering for destruction, brother. They ain't clapping for peace. That's bad. So... Okay, well, I get the thing where everybody don't want the best for you. Oh, yeah. Now, I get that because I say that. I mean, I, I be like, people be like, oh, pray for me, pray for me. But you don't know what that person really praying for for you. <laughs> I'm just saying. Why well, you don't be know, negative? You don't, everybody don't want the best for you. I don't know nobody who would pray for something bad to happen to you. I, hey, I ain't saying, I just. All I'm saying is that you don't know that they praying for what you, what you need. What you want, what you at that would, moment. Right. That's all I'm saying. And I'm not I and I'm saying I took that somebody else said that to me and I was like, Oh my goodness. You that that's not, that makes some sense. You don't know what they praying for. But and that's when people don't me and you. I got a positive outlook. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you got a positive outlook. And I got a more realistic outlook. <laughs> Just because you think negative don't make it realistic. It says negative. It's realistic that everybody don't want the best for you. I know. That be, that's not me being negative. That's just me being me knowing that everybody, we not all on the same page. We not all on the same. Yeah. It hey. just don't work like that. Everybody not happy for you because you doing something. People sit back going, oh, why they this? Why they, why she, why he? I'm just saying it's, that's how it is. But Charles is white. What he's saying makes no sense to me. Well, I didn't say what he said, babe. If you coming back at they fans, why mm-hmm. do you talk so bad about them? Yeah. Right. Why right. won't you say like that a, to the fans? You don't even really know this man. Go get to know him. Go come back to me after you find out his his real name and tell me when you get some real information on him. Like you can say stuff like that without having to tear that particular art. Like he just at first he said, I don't say people. And that's why when I say when I say that um, rapper, then he turned around and said, F Michael Jordan. Well, how you you just said you don't say people names. Nah, because, what Michael Jordan say to right, him? Right. He happened? said he giving back what they give to him. Right. Michael Jordan gave it. Said I don't something know. Because one minute he said he don't say people names, then he actually said F Michael Jordan. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. Somebody said something about Michael Jordan. Can you Jordan. trust anybody that say, Yeah, 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 no, 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 no yeah, 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 no, no. <laughs> 
But yeah. But like we said, we know Charles Seward do a lot of stuff. He has to be right. controversial. He of course he it's gonna for be the money. Crazy, but don't try yeah. to rationalize. Don't try to explain no, it because there ain't no explanation. You just yeah. do it because you know it's gonna get you what you want. Okay, right. And then it's like one minute I'm like, okay, he make it. Oh, I get what he said. Next time I'm like, what? It flips so fast with Charles Seward. Because he's mad though. It don't gotta make no sense. He just yeah. saying it, and he might work his way to some sense. But Sometimes. then in the same breath, he gonna work his way back to some flips, nonsense. And then you'd be like, "Well, what you said? I was, I was right. I was, I was with you. I was with you." Said and you said then this. you did something. He said something else. That happens all the time with Charles Barkley, which is why I try not to. I try to let him just talk his way through, like just listen, because you just never know. By the end of the day, you he just said ten different things in ten different ways. Yeah. He, but he at the same time he said he was in the club. And Dirk and them walked in, and he politely walked, got out of there. So he ain't stupid, man. Ain't uh, well, stupid. first of all, Dirk should Dirk got too much to lose. So of course he's not somewhere by Dirk himself. Ain't, Dirk ain't Dirk ain't even worried about right. that. Right, he's not gonna do anything. To anybody. He got too much to lose. Now the people around him, they got too much to lose. Just just the same, in my opinion. To be yeah, but it's with different Chelsea. because well, yeah, I'm not talking about Charles. I mean, just in people. You get people around. That's the thing. People get people around them that ain't got nothing to lose. So they'll do whatever you but want. But those dudes around Dirk, they been around Dirk. And I mean, they I'm not all talking about his immediate too. people. I'm not talking about the people we just saw the other day in the video with him. Like, we were like, oh, yeah, you could tell those. They've been, they've been with him from forever. Or, like, they won't have it. was all celebrated, whatever. I'm just mean people who just want to make you happy. People who want to impress you. You know what I mean? Who want that attention. They'll yeah. do whatever. Yeah. But, they ain't got nothing to lose. Dirk. Dirk is different because yeah. ain't nobody around him that ain't been around him forever. Like, what's crazy is that I didn't know it. Like, I saw old, remember back, we watched them old videos. I see Chief Wook or mm-hmm. or Booney mm-hmm. Moe. Mm-hmm. You see them dudes back there with him. It's like, damn, that was dying 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. And these same dudes that you didn't know, like we say, they always mm-hmm. come to the forefront eventually. But, yeah. man, Charleston White just be talking. Charleston White's something else. I would say he's something else. He's literally. Something else. literally. For real. But and you never know what you're going to get. Y'all like and subscribe. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. He crazy.